I mean, that's just oh, how it be going today, shit. dude. Yeah, is that how your day's going so far? I've been going through it today, to be honest with yeah? you. Yeah? Why, what's up? Finding used condoms and stuff in the parking lot and all kinds of shit, huh? Dude, last night I got home and I was like, oh, damn, I don't have coffee for the morning. All right, no big deal. I'll just try to get, get some before work. Yeah, like, I mean, I work... I had to be there at 7, so I'm like, you know, fucking Walmart's always open. Nah. Yeah, they're not. Mm -mm. Not always. Not even a little bit. Uh, you used nope. to be 24 hours? No, no, no. I don't even know if they know what that means. No, they for sure they don't. They turn their back. Also, they keep one of their doors, it's like, closed. So oh, like do they half change, the Walmart, bro? You Wal can't even go Walmart in. has changed, bro. You know what it is? Is like, when Kmart existed, mm. Walmart behaved. Yeah. Now, well, they, majority of them. Now behaved. they're getting wild. They are the new Kmart, dude. Yeah, they don't give a single fuck. Nope. They're like, well, that that's cool, but now we don't have to act you, right, you know. You know what? We place just don't. Also, doesn't give a fuck. You been to this dirt cheap up here? I haven't because guess what? The, the title is dirt cheap, dude. I'm okay. Listen, when I tell you they have more dirt in there than cheap stuff, I mean that's it. Seriously, it's you walk in. And it's like just clothes on the floor. Oh, dude, I'm more like, aware than you think I am. How many babies am I gonna find? Everything in here. Everything at Target that gets damaged. Yeah. Is shipped to dirt cheap. Oh, that really? is not a joke. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Do y'all do any of the crazy Casboy shit? I don't know. No. Don't I'm know. Not. I that's thought cool. that was like bargain bin shit, where it's like the like a Chinese product that's mass produced for nothing. No, it's no, you actually get good shit. I think they do a lot of like Amazon returns and like target returns and stuff like that. And they just buy like truckloads of it. Cause you can buy like a pallet of returned goods that the box have been opened or something. And you know, it hasn't been used or anything. So hmm. you can get like iPads and like fishing reel, just random shit. Like, a couple weeks ago, they had a Target drop where it was all, like, home decor type stuff. Mm. Um, but, yeah, that play I've never been there, but my homie goes there every Friday, and he always comes in with, like, just random shit. Like, he'll buy a 32-pack or 36-pack of, like, the Bang Energy drinks, and then I'll also buy, like, video games. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just all over the place. There's no rhyme or reason. Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. For $7. Yeah, I never knew what that was. I thought that was a new like Dollar Tree thing. Nah. That because of the way it looks, it nah. looks, it looks like Dude, the people you catch up. Real quick, What's can that? we just talk about what you look like without a hat on? Is it wild? It's bad. Listen, it's bad. You look like. Did you ever see Ned's The Classified? Nope. I was born before there's, you. There's a guy on there. His name was Coconut Head. And you look like if he joined like a punk band for a couple years and then got out of it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I feel a lot of jealousy coming on right now. It's definitely not jealousy, dude. Cause no, that's cool. Fuck, put a hat on. For yeah. sure, yeah. Probably not, though. Yeah, but you should. But I probably will Because I don't want to look at you. <laughs> Do something about it. <laughs> so, so, did you ever get coffee? Come back. Readdress me. Did you ever get coffee? No, I didn't. I showed up at a Walmart, walked to the door. You know, they didn't the open door. for. They don't have knobs, dude. I don't know if you've ever been to a Walmart. There is not a knob them door. side doors got them. You're talking about a big Walmart, I'm bro. Talking I'm talking about, about neighborhood I'm Walmart. I'm talking VIP access, dog. No. Yeah, Did bro, you get you're in? walking aside. No, you didn't. Walking aside, bro. No, you didn't. I'll go to You're any talking Walmart about through the vending machines? Side. You're like, I'm going to go through the red box and fucking vending machines. VIP, bro. No. One hallway, red carpet, blue carpet. Sorry, my bad. Blue carpet. Walk down blue carpet. Nobody fucks with you. Do you, you can stop and get a Fago on your way in if you want or rent a movie. I will tell you this. No. Should have gave that a shot. Didn't need to. I went to a neighborhood Walmart. They only have the two front doors. Enter, exit. Hmm. It wasn't opening. What in the fuck? And the people were looking at me like, I know he doesn't oh, think so we're open. So they seen you in there. I mean, they overnight stock, bro. Yeah. Because they're smart. Not all companies do that. 
You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. And uh, I wonder who does that. Who doesn't do that? You would think. You would think I would. You would think, think? you would know. Yeah, I don't. Contact who? clues, my guy. Anyways, so they're do seeing that? me. I'm like, hey, and they're like, I mean, you're seeing us, so you can see the door, so you can see the hours on the door that says we're not open yet. Also, so. door is not open. Yeah, you know. I mean, all you had to do is bring me a coffee. They didn't. That's fine. I left. Cool. Wasted an hour of my time, basically, because I woke up so early. I was anticipating traffic Which and all this stuff. Where did you go to? The one on my way that used to be by our house where we lived over there. It wasn't me going out of my way. I was just trying to make sure I had enough time because sometimes at Walmart will be stupid busy for no reason. And I never really was there that early, obviously, because... If I want to open. <laughs> well, and they then, used to, a lot of them used to be open 24 hours. And then yeah, they I don't know cut going. the whole hours down because of COVID. And then they, have, they're not, they haven't opened it back up yet. Yeah, that's cool. I guess we're going to be fucking riding on that forever. Yeah, I had, a, I had that happen to me last night. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I had a sweet little... I had to make a tiramisu for my mom's friend's birthday. And I need it ready for this morning. So I was like making it last night after work. Don't know why I decided that was a good idea, but I grabbed a bunch of shit from work because I was like, I don't know if I have this and don't know if I have this. Thought I had heavy cream in the fridge to make whipped cream. Cause I was like, Oh, I bought two quarts Sunday. There should be one still in there. Whipped cream cup. Ice yep. And uh yeah, went into the fridge. <laughs> Ice, yep. Um, went into the fridge, no heavy whipping cream. So I called literally every store open. Walmart was not one of them. And could not get a fucking thing of whipping cream anywhere. So I had to drive all the way back downtown to my restaurant. And steal a quart of heavy cream. Not steal, but borrow a quart of heavy cream. Which added another 45 minutes to an hour to making a tiramisu, which was cool. So, yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty sweet. But yeah, bro. And then I didn't hear you at fucking all. Oh, last night. I think it must have been quiet, or I must have been out, and it I'm not typically kicking. out. I mean, it. I cranked it up to ten. So I mean, I mean it's definitely got some noise. You like, to it. I hooked that shit up to Bluetooth, and yeah. I was trying to bump it through the I house. Was, I'm talking walls with shaking. Yeah. Ginger was getting at it. <laughs> Ginger throwing that ass back. She go, get that kitchen aid going, girl. <laughs> go ahead, yep. Yeah. yeah, fucking. Yeah, so I finished that at 1 o'clock-ish, which was good. So, and then I fucking took that there, and I went to the gym after I did that, which was nice. Did some workout things. And that way. to work. So, so, Walmart's. Not open 24 hours, but the gyms. Here's the thing, though. They are. Gym Gym ain't open 24 hours on Fridays and Saturdays. Which is smart. No, dumb. dumb yeah, I know. Fu- oh, okay. Dumb no, yeah, I totally agree. Fuck. You know what it makes no sense? That. And why you know be why? Open because... 20, what? Okay, first off, how can you say you're open 24 hours yeah. and not be open 24 yeah. hours? Also, All how can it be that. in your title? Because there are some gyms that are like 24-hour 24 24 fitness. fitness. Yeah. Come on. B24. Anytime fitness. Yeah. Anytime? Anytime, though. No. For real? Only five of the days can be anytime. You know what you do? What? You stand outside right after they close, and then you call. Hey, is this anytime fitness, or yeah, is it, says it not? 24 hour right yeah. here. This is one of those hours, that shit and I'm calling. This is one of the 24. This shit, that shit pisses me off, because I get off work Fridays and Saturday nights, and I'm like, damn, I want to go to the gym. But then I have to wait till the next morning to go in the morning. And then there's 400 people in there. And it pisses me off. Because yeah. nobody's there at like midnight when I go. And I like that. I don't like I don't like a bunch of people. And it's not like these people don't also want to come in earlier. I'm sure some of those 400 people would come in at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Because they got other shit to do the next yeah. day. But now they all got to cram in. Try to get their shit in at the same time. What's that ticket? It just gets insane, you know? Yeah. No, that shit sucks. But so. it's weird. Like, it's 
it's cool. weird that gyms are cool with it. Okay. <laughs> but Walmarts aren't. What you doing, Callie? I don't I don't get the like you would think health reasons gyms would be closed or would be more restricted on hours than a Walmart. Walmart people aren't they're not like how do, how you say this? You shouldn't be sweating at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you shouldn't be actively dripping in sweat because you're working you out. Or, at, I mean, yeah. there are some people that are roaming around in there that <laughs> yeah, are do be sweating. Yeah, that they're dripping. Be, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Fucking. I tell you what, though, that uh, Pensacola Fitness is actually pretty. That's the name of it, right? Pensacola Fitness. They're yeah. they're good about. Didn't that one used to be called Anytime? I think, yeah, I think before, that was like a couple years ago, though. Mm. No, that's fine. What are you doing? Um, They are really good about keeping everything clean in there, though. They're, and the people, the other members of the gym are pretty aware of everything. So they're, everybody's, you know, doing their part to keep everything clean, which is nice. So I still haven't used the damn sauna there yet. But I want to. And I didn't know there was a fucking sauna there. I yeah. definitely have been looking for a sauna because, like, UWF, like, I think I talked to you about this before. I wanted to do, like, the pool, yeah. the hot tub, sauna, and, do like, a trio. Because I feel like it really helps recuperate my body after, like, a hard week of training or whatnot. Or, like, recovering, like, injuries. But they haven't been able to fix that hot tub. And then the time that I am available, they'll have, like, an event where they'll, the pool will be closed for cleaning or whatnot. Well, My damn, fucking. We don't have a hot tub or pool. We yeah. just have the sauna. So. I know. That sucks. But I do want to. I do want to do some shit with that too. I think that's like a like a super peaceful thing. Like it sucks, you know, because you're like sweating the, the sauna. Shit out. Yeah, but I feel like it's like meditation almost. You know. Yeah, I don't think it sucks. It, it's like. I mean, you should have a pretty good like experience with this now that your car doesn't have ac but getting in your car after it's been closed up like on a hot summer day and you get in close the door real quick and you just feel your body like yeah that is such a cool feeling it's not cool when you know that you're stuck in that car and you can't no, do shit not, about it no it's a hot feeling that's what it is not cool at all but it's like a, a very Opposite of cool but it's a very intense feeling like yeah interesting to be stuck in that feeling you want to know what's also not cool is when that feeling just stays with you till you get out of the car again. Yeah, I mean it's wild that you don't at least have working windows. I got, I got. Yeah, I did say windows. I got plural windows that work. Plural? You bought plural ones? No, I I got more than one. But it doesn't really in help. the car. Yeah, my driver's side window works. And. The driver's side back window okay. and the passenger side back window. Passenger side window, not as much. And you crank those down? I just crank my driver's side down. Well, you, it, shouldn't you, like, offset? Like, do offset. driver's side and then passenger rear? Because mm. the wind will go out. I don't know about that. Yeah, you don't. Obviously, because you're not doing it. <laughs> Is that how that works? I don't feel like that's not how that I'm works. I'm telling you exactly how it works. You're not doing it. You, you haven't a, even had a chance to go experience. Is that what you are? I'll say it again. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> no, one more time. No, keep talking. I'm an aerodynamic Aerodynamicist. Dynamicist? Yeah. Wouldn't it be like a aero engineer? Aeronautical engineer? <laughs> I feel like that's <laughs> more planes, though. I didn't know. Nautical <laughs> is water, you idiot. Aeronautical engineering? No. Aeronautical? <laughs> Aerospace nautical. I know nautical. No, you don't. I'm a good. <laughs> I know not. A, no, you don't. <laughs> well, I mean, not even close. Aero like nautical, nautical close. engineering. Here we go. Let's take a gander. Say, what is an aerodynamic? A plot. Professional call. What do you even? What do you? What would what you even call it? it? Aeronautical engineering focuses mostly on flight and flight activities. Fucking dummy. Aeronautical. Yes. How did you spell it? How it's spelt? Yeah, but is it nautical water? Put in just nautical. <laughs> nautical engineering. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that brand? Nautica? 
Yeah. Isn't that fucking water? Nautical engineering. Marine engineering. So, it's air water. <laughs> <laughs> air water. <laughs> Cuz you said Earth, wind, fire. <laughs> what more do you want? Captain man? Planet. Uh, no, you you said the last airbender. Uh, aeronautical. Aeronautical? Yeah. Where did, what, <laughs> what were we even talking about? Uh, where did we get off on? Aerodynamics. Oh, no. What I'm telling you is like if you do catty corner windows open aerodynamics. because your other catty corner won't open, it definitely flushes the hot air if out. If aerodynamicist easier. is a word, bro. It's not. How to become an aerodynamicist. Let me see. Shut it. Mm, mm. See that? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the? Mm, have you ever that. heard of the company Zipia? Suck on. Seems that. like something you just made up, bro. Aerodynamicist, career, salary, and education. I don't know that. I believe it first. Damn, second. boy! Look at all these words that are aerodynamicist. That's Dude, crazy. We don't need to look at these words. Uh, what? I mean. They're Anyways, real, they're you, right test my theory out if you don't believe they're it. Right I promise there. you. You'll get cool real quick. I mean, if it's 95 degrees outside, really ain't going to cool much down. Yeah, it is. Drive faster. I drive fast. You know how loud fast is? (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't. (laughs) My car goes fast, but I have windows and AC. It's loud. They go up, and so does that AC. Yes. They go down. See, I, I, when you hop on that interstate and you cruise in 75, motherfucker get loud. Okay. Also, so why are you worried about having the windows down? What does that matter? You trying to listen to music? Put no some headphones shit, in. You fuck. Yes, I'm trying to listen to music. It, it air makes your a car is not noise. meant to listen to music in, air. bro. That's just a fact, dude. I got listen to car dude, noises in I your got, car. What do you got? I got a fucking <laughs> sound system in my car. Do you? Yeah, yeah, it's called your fucking engine. No, bro. <laughs> then why are you worried about it? What are you talking about? Leave the windows down, crank the system to... way up. Just because become... It be, it get one of those dudes that has a fucking megaphone on the outside of the car. <laughs> <laughs> also, my car Also, my car has a V8 in it with no cat and fucking cut off muffler. So it's pretty fucking loud. He ain't got no cat and that is no cap. No cap. No cat. I capped that cat. See? No cat, no cap. Yeah, so that's fucking. That shit's loud as fuck. It's like you know when somebody puts the. Honestly, your car is not that loud when you're going slow, and I almost never hear you come oh, home. Oh, you mean like pulling up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not. Super. It's just like a fucking really low like. I feel like it used like to be kind loud. Of a rumble. Did something happen to it? I feel the like AC it, stopped working. Well, the AC was that loud. My okay, so blue. <laughs> so it's louder. <laughs> With the AC, then without the AC. So now you have but a with quieter the car. <laughs> but with the windows down, it's much louder. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just tuning in to what everybody else was already hearing. Yeah. No, it's... Yeah, yeah. the AC stopped working. The uh, rear view mirror <laughs> fell off. <laughs> so that was... Cool. That so, was about it. So what about the new subs? Hey, I'm waiting. Yep. I'm fucking waiting, dude. I'm so pissed off. I'm like, I'm going to murder someone, dude. I'm so upset. You told me four years ago that it was going to be ready in three days. You know what? I thought it was. All the information that I had gotten was like, oh, no, it'll be like four minutes. So what else is wrong right now? Apparently, they're Cigarette still lighter won't turn part. on or something? Apparently, they're still waiting on that fucking part. But I haven't gotten a call from the dude. Actually, I'm about to text my dad right now. About that. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, can you call? I ain't calling that fucker. I'll cuss his ass out. <laughs> my, dad's I get my dad. My dad to fucking do it. My dad is gonna come down there. He said. No, I'll fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hilton, that. <laughs> he getting pissed about the soups. Yeah, dude. It's only been my dream car for like ten years, and it's like. Dude, you're like twelve years old. It's been my dream car since I was two. Well, I mean, you. That's almost your entire life. Yeah, it's like eighty per. <laughs> <laughs> You're 80 persons since. But yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, dude, fucking. So I am ready to murder someone over that. But whatever. Um. Yeah, so fucking. Um, Sunday. We had the. Uh, 
We had a sweet dinner with Rich and Serena. Rich and Serena. At their is... uh, mini mansion with the yacht. Fuck, dude, that place was Poolside so on the bayou. Yeah, pool, fucking 34 foot express fishing boat sitting that boat in the was back really on the pier. Foot? Yeah, I'm close to that. I don't know. Yeah, shit on both than that, sizes. Actually. Bitch is bad as fuck. I told him I'll offer the dude like $7 for it. I told Rich that you told me that you'd offer the guy 700 and he <laughs> laughed, and I was like, and then he countered and said 700 and a steak dinner. I'll and then he got and a steak Then the dinner. laughing stopped, so you might have something going on there, bud. I mean, what's up? Yeah, if you guys uh, didn't see any of the pictures, fucking, um, I don't know if he posted those on his Instagram or just to his story, but. Yeah, he, he, oh no, yeah, it's just a story. We did a whole, we did a whole spread Sunday, which was pretty cool. It was good to do like some, like an actual personal dinner type thing, just to get kind of back in the motion, I guess, of, I guess it wasn't really entertaining, but, you know, do it like having conversation and getting to cook for people, which is really cool. So. That was kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's also nice and refreshing to have, like, a new personality in your life, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, there are two... I get tired of your ass all the time. Yeah. I mean, I'm fucking... I'm pretty much <sighs> done with this shit already. I'm stretched out, <laughs> you know? You I'm, heard it here first. Yeah. I'm fucking... He's gaping. I'm Agape. Agape. Wide open. <laughs> Full love. Bust it wide open. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, dude. Uh, it it was nice as fuck, dude. Like, they're chill-ass <sighs> people. That's a quality fresco right there, bro. Cool-ass cat. They have bear. Yeah. Thick that was boy. pretty sweet. Yeah, he was thick for Little sure. Baby but he looked boy. like he was supposed to be that thick. Yeah, Callie looks like she's, like, a fucking Walmart bag full of water. Yeah. You, you can feel? see where her bones are, but you're like, wh- what is that? What's draped over you? Yeah. She looks like she's wearing a costume of a bigger cat on her. <laughs> yeah, she's wearing a costume of herself. Yeah. It's just a couple sizes too big. No, that's fine. It's cool. You're good. Well, I love you for who you are. T- aren't. Yeesh. Oh, yeah. So, do you, uh, Cody had a... Sweet, um, Cody uh, had a sweet little thing happen the other day with uh, Ginger. That was pretty cool. Oh, was it though? She seemed pretty. I don't know, semi spooked when I got home. Yeah, I'm sure she's been outside for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's wild because I know she's seen my car before. It's like she was yelling at me, like, "Hey, we're gonna get in trouble, dude, <laughs> dude, she's like, let me in." Yeah. So the other day, like, I left work. And I had to swing by home to grab some shirts before I went to train. And it was on the way, so I just swung in. And I was grabbing a snack, going to the bathroom, changing. And whenever I'm at home, I'll let Ginger out or, like, tend to the animals, you know. And I let her out as soon as I got home. And then I got busy doing other things. And then I was like, dude, I got to go. Like, the time is getting away from me, so I just get in my car and jet. (laughs) Dude, Ginger's so damn quiet outside, like, you don't ever hear her, so whenever yeah. she's done doing whatever she's doing, and I'm sure she was done before I left. <laughs> yeah. She's probably sitting at that back door like, no, he's coming. Yeah, no, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, no, he'll be, he'll be here. Like, birds are like, you all right? Yeah. She the goes, owls was up there, like, looking out for her. Yeah. Was that the same night? No, it was a different mm-hmm. night. Yeah, but, I mean, it was well, close. I mean, we definitely got owls in the hood. Yeah, we, we had owls the other night, too. But, yeah, like, like I said, I, like. I left the house here at 5.30. Then I got back here at 9 o'clock at night. And I'm listening to, like, a pretty heavy song. But I'm hearing an extra thump in the song that I'm, like, not used to. And I'm like, whoa, maybe I haven't heard this before. Yeah. Or maybe I haven't paid attention to this part of it before. In the car. Yeah. It was fucking her barking so loud that in the breakdown of it, I could hear it. But it was coming through my car like a thump. So, because she was like, Roo. but it was like rounded off because of all the noise. Yeah. I get out and I'm like, who is this fucking dog barking at me? And because I, because I can see her, but she's in the dark and I'm like, who's you? 
Why is there a dog in the backyard? Yeah, and it was fucking ginger. It was wild that she wouldn't come up to me. She's like, nah, dude. It's like she didn't trust me for not not grabbing her back in the house. Yeah. She's like, nah, dude. You're not about to leave me I know me how you're supposed to do this. This ain't it. Yeah, so then I left the door open and I walked inside. And as soon as I turned my back to start walking inside, she ran in like she had been in. <laughs> And then I had to go back outside and grab groceries, came back in, and she acted like nothing had happened. Yeah. She, she, the door was still open, and she was like, you gonna close that? I'm gonna get out if you don't. Yeah. She acted so much like nothing happened that when I got in the kitchen, she went and stood by the back door like, you wanna do this again? I'm like, you were just outside all damn day. You be good. I'm actually surprised she didn't, like, run off. She's usually, I mean, she's pretty good about not going because, like, I, she's ran out the side. Because my, for those of you that don't know, my that my house, I have a gate on the side of the house that's been torn down. And so you can walk from the front of my house to the back of my house, yeah. right? And so she, I mean, I've taken her over there to the side and, like, you know, every time she gets close to over there, I, like, give her, you know, just kind of yell at her so she knows not to go over there. And she's pretty damn good about it. But I would think... Honestly, for being out for so damn long, she would be like, oh, let's see what's going on up here and, like, walk out. But, no, that's good she didn't, like, run off. (laughs) So. What I think is maybe she hung out in the backyard and, like, maybe chilled in the little Florida room we got. But, yeah, I don't think she ran off because she was still in the backyard when she was barking at me pretty much. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Been Been a very eventful week. Yeah, it's been uh, I'm like working overtime this week, and I'm not really into that idea, but I'm God. being forced to deal with it. That hurt, dude. But yeah. Yeah, dude. Fucking. Uh, I got to fish this week, which was pretty sweet. I got to fish uh, Monday and Tuesday. It was super late for work Tuesday, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she just chilled out. But, yeah, fishing was good both of them days. What did you catch? Uh, Monday we caught. Caught some trigger fish, which was g- cool because that season ends, like, this weekend. And then caught some vermilion snapper, which was sweet. And then Monday we caught. Uh, we went for amberjack, but couldn't get any of those to the boat because they kept – they were either too small or – Got eaten by sharks or were breaking off because we co- we hooked some like big, like fifty pounders, um, out there, and kept breaking off the leaders and stuff, which sucks. But that's what those things do. They're like they're known as reef donkeys because they're like the strongest fish on the reef, pretty much. So you got an amberjack. Have, amberjack, yeah. And so you gotta have like your shit perfect, or it's just not gonna work. So. Yeah, I mean, we were trying everything we could, but we only had 80-pound, like, mo- like leader, so that kind of sucks. But but on the way back in, we came across a grass patch, and I was already late for work, and I was like, ah, fuck it. Let me just throw one at a couple times, just see if anything comes up. And so I, like, chum a little bit and start throwing, and all of a sudden, like, a whole pack of dolphin came up. So we were hooked on those for about an hour, just, like, throwing dolphin in the boat, you know? So that was cool. Dolphins? Like, mahi-mahi. Is Mahi Mahi Dolphin? Mm-hmm. That's what they're named. They're called Dorado, we, Mahi Mahi, or Dolphin. We can fish for dolphins? Not like the fucking, not flipper, like the big green and blue ones. I don't know. I'm talking about gray. Look like an <laughs> elephant, but like. A, but a water one? A water like one. Like a water fit? Like no. a water shark. Dolphin. Shark of the water, but they round. Ain't no sharp head. You know? Mihi mihi. Mahi mahi. They call it dolphin? Yeah, so it's what got... dolphin do we eat? Mahi mahi. Nobody ever eats the other dolphin? I don't think so. So when they say dolphin safe tuna. Well. <laughs> why the hell do they got the same name? be two completely different things yeah why same name i don't know that's just a nickname for them they i mean their real name is mahi mahi they also are called dorado in like mexico and stuff like that um but yeah they're dolphin 
There's a town in Puerto Rico called Dorado. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's from derives from that, but but yeah. What were you saying about the tuna thing? What? When they say like dolphin safe tuna. Yeah. They mean that dolphin or the other the dolphin? Because dolphin. Yeah. the other dolphin will get caught in the nets and shit. They're considered like bycatch. They just murder them. Just leave them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. I know, and I'm so so sorry for laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is going to be real fucked up. <laughs> so they just fucking... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... They'll just kill the dolphin because they got in the net and they're just like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, that's just, exactly. Why am I laughing? <laughs> well, no, they don't fucking, they usually, they won't like kill them. They're usually dead in the net before they get oh, to them. Oh, yeah, that's way sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, they just sit there. So, because I don't think, I think dolphin have to be moving. Like, I don't think they can just sit. <laughs> not not for a second. They're just like, <gasps> Well, no, it's like, <laughs> I mean, if it's caught in a net, it's going to go crazy for a while and then just accept the fact yeah, that it's caught. Yeah, but do you think any of them ever, like, push the limit and, like, there's, like, rogue dolphins <laughs> that all, like, you know, like, how when humans <laughs> masturbate? <laughs> you know? But where you go? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. Put it back on the dolphin. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know dude. when people masturbate, mm, they'll jerk off. They'll put a belt around their neck. What? Real tight. And they'll almost go out. Okay. And they're like, uh. I wonder if there's dolphins out there that their thing like that is like trying to stay still. <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's a bunch of them that get together, and they're like, all right, so we're hanging out today. You think they're fucking? All right. Huh? You think they're fucking while they're doing it? No, no. I mean, like, the thing that gets them off is being real still for, like, seeing who can get the closest to yeah. death and then coming back. Yeah. Like, they that's like the stay point. stay under water as long as whoever can stay under the water the longest. Yeah. Because they be breathing air and shit, you know? I didn't know. That's why they got blow holes. I ain't never see any on land. <laughs> like, not even once. <laughs> Dolphins eat pe- fuck people. <laughs> I mean, I've uh, seen their heads poke up and just be like, "What up, dog?" Yeah, they uh, those or, things or whatever those things is. suck, man. Dolphins. Yeah, they and now worse. now do all fish can't mm? stop moving? Do that one more time, but make it correct though. All fish, no stop moving, die. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Cody's t- typing in a question to Google, like cutting out all the words. Fish, no swim, die? Question mark. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think some fi- I think most fish can just chill, but uh, like sharks, I can- I'm pretty sure can't stop moving. They have to keep moving. I've heard that before. The, That's like the only one I've ever stuff. heard that. But like, if you go down, like if you look on underwater footage and stuff like that fish they their gills move so they can sit in one spot and bring water through their gills so they yeah so it can't move. be all fish because th- no. some fish are like dolphins not a camouflage fish, though. predators dolphins not a fish though what is it it's a mammal i don't get it <laughs> <laughs> it's one of us it's in the same family what make mammals <laughs> How to make one manimal. <laughs> the fuck, dude. I didn't mean to add that extra. Namal. Namal. Mammal. What make uh, mammal? I don't know, dude. I think it's got something. <laughs> it's got something to do with like milk or something, I think. Do- <laughs> there's <laughs> dolphin milk? There's what? no way there's <laughs> dolphin milk. <laughs> well, what, what does it take to be a mammal? <laughs> They're like, you ain't it, son. <laughs> What does it take to be a model? That was the first one. I haven't looked that up before. It, it just goes to the selfie camera and then it says no. <laughs> what five char- characteristics do mammals have in common? Mammals have hair or fur, are warm-blooded, most are born alive, the young are fed milk, and they have more complex brain. Hold okay. on. Dolphin I'm milk. lost. <laughs> you didn't, Dolphin you didn't milk. hear the third one you said? Are born alive? Yeah. What are born dead? 
Eggs. But then you're not born <laughs> yet. Don't drink porpoise milk. Oh no! I just looked up dolphin milk. They pose a. What? Can you can you milk a dolphin? Is it even milk? <laughs> What is what part of the dolphin are you milking either? It just says no, not possible. So how the fuck is it a mammal? You can't milk them, but wait for them to give you. If they feel so, dolphins have mammary glands with inverted nipples, literally hidden between (laughs) slits in the mammary glands. Oh my goodness, we're learning a lot about dolphins right now. Is it possible to milk them? Can you drink whale milk? (laughs) What? We're getting weird. Uh, where the fuck did we get off on this? Oh, you found fucking the other dolphin in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Two dolphins in the bush is better than one in the what one milk in the one milk in the hamper and the inverted oh, nipple. Oh, you know, mammary glands, <laughs> <laughs> manimalary glands. <laughs> what make a manimal? <laughs> dude, that's wild, dude. I didn't know that about dolphins. Bro. Yeah, man, they're mammals. You didn't even know that. They about don't have a. Uh, well, I mean, I knew they were. Mammals. We barely knew it, at all. I mean, Anything I, about no, them? No, but I told you they were. Yeah, but also they don't have hair. Yeah. They, so do they you have to have all five of the things? I don't think so. I think you just have to have, have some one. of the things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think dolphins are one of those like kind of. So if I was born dead, what? But then was revived to be alive. You ain't. I'm a no mammal. You're still a mammal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am confusion. Yeah, I don't get it. What if? What if? Well, because I mean, how are you? What supposed if you're to be so advanced? Alive? What if you're a chicken and you're so advanced you have an egg, and it comes out like it comes out of wherever it comes out of the chicken, <laughs> and when it drops, it cracks. It like you're technically it's born dead. dead, right? But when it cracked, you were so advanced in the egg that you're alive. Are you now a mammal chicken? No. Why not? Because you came out as an egg. Yeah, but you dropped from the ass or wherever it comes out of and instantly hit the ground and was like, I'm fucking going now. You know, chickens, (laughs) eggs, they have to get fertilized before they become. So they come out and then they get fertilized and then they. The egg comes out and then something fucks the egg. (laughs) (laughs) Something like that, dude. No. I'm telling you because how you think. Hold on, like, no, 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 no. It's no, 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 no. I know. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling Hold on. Let me Google that now. Good how grief. do, how do chickens mate? That's good. Let's start with that. When a root, mm. rooster, dude. That's a dude. That's a dooster. What's up? Wow. You want to read out loud, dude? Say Not it for the really, class, dude. What's it say? His when a rooster rants? mates with a hen, he mounts her and standing on her back. Lowers his cloaca. Cloaca? And he then... Cloaca. And then and the hen inverts her own cloaca to meet with his. There is no penetration. But the sperm packet released by the male is taken into the hen's cloaca or vent. Sperm can live what? in the infundibulum for more than two weeks. I'm lost. Do they touch fingers or something? Yeah. It's like he's he's getting piggyback ridden. No, road. she... she there's no, they ain't fucking. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. He's. She's like, hey, and he's like, uh, can I get a piggyback ride? And she's like, so we're I'm fucking. Not, yeah. Well. Uh huh. I mean, you I just. Guess. No, I mean, I get because y- <laughs> they they have eggs anyway, right? They lay eggs anyway. Yeah. So if you don't have a rooster around, then you just have normal eggs. Yeah. But so the what's, sperm is what's what takes it. What's inhumane about that? What do you mean? People have a problem eating chicken eggs because they're like, you're killing chickens. Well, because it's not a, uh, well, you're not killing chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it is a non-fertilized egg. So it could be a chicken. But it's not. Yeah, I mean, it ain't, but it could be. Just like a dolphin moving. Just like a mammal in the moving, ocean. Could Just like a like mammal without a, hair. Almost dead dolphin. Oh, I wonder if dolphins do have hair. Do they? <laughs> okay. This is a Google episode for sure. Yeah. Dolphins hair, question mark. 
They're like, they have a happy trail or something. Do dolphins have hair? So finely, it's all over them. It's like a velvet or a suede feel to it. (laughs) Oh, so they do have it when they're born. Dolphins have hair on them when they're born? Show me. Mm. Say hairy baby dolphin. Wow. It looks like Justin Bieber, dude. Uh, baby, (laughs) Baby dolphin hair. Dudes? Mm. Well. Hmm. This is a lot of dead air. We gotta let go of this Google thing. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Also, you need to talk clearly. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. For sure, too close. You're too close, man. But, well, that was our little science bit for the... What was the fights that just happened? Chandler. Oh, no. Yep. It wasn't Chandler. Font. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I don't know if you guys watched that, the uh, Rob Font and Cody Garbrandt fight. <sighs> Not so hot, my guy. Yeah. It's crazy when you see somebody's career and, like, the potential they have and they just... They reach it. There's, like, several different ways. One, they reach it and then they fall... Yeah, like they get shy. Mm-hmm. Here's a good example. Cody is a good example of how he reached his potential and then he became emotional in his fights because after the Dominic fight, he was emotional every time he fought because he was fighting these... He fought TJ twice, yeah. so he wanted to really knock his head off both times and he almost had TJ the first time Yeah, in the first round of that first fight. And then he fought, uh, what is that dude's name? He's a fucking killer, too. Damn, I can't think of his name. But mm-hmm. he got clipped, so he started fucking swinging, and he yeah. he got knocked the fuck out. And then his last fight was, uh, the one before this one was against Rafael Sunsau, and he did that classic, like, not classic, but. It will now forever everybody be a was, classic. Yeah, everybody he grabbed it. the bottom of the cage, like just, and then he just swung straight up. And, and it was cr- at the buzzer, too. Yeah. I mean, like, at the bell. Boom. Like, fucking gnarly. Yeah, I, uh, I watched, I watched that, because most of the time, after those fights, the first, like, hour, you can find the full fight on YouTube before it gets uh, taken down yeah, by the yeah. UFC. So I had gotten home and watched it. On YouTube because I couldn't watch it at work or whatever. So, yeah, it did kind of, did kind of suck seeing him. Kind of lose some of that shit. I it's mean, a, I tell it, you what, it's though, insane. This is what my point I was trying to make though is like, you see somebody live up to their potential, boom, and then they f- fall off and become like sh- shy to their skills. Like they hide behind it. They know it's there, but they can't, and, and they just can't pull the trigger. Letter, yeah. Somebody else had this problem. And then re reach their potential and now is like on top of the world and that's Francis. Yeah, I guess that's he true. lost to Sipe and then for fights afterwards he couldn't pull the trigger. He did yeah. he was just like kind of like gun shy because he knows what it's like to lose and he's yeah. like, Fuck this. Lost to Derek Lewis and then went on a fucking murderer spree. Yeah. Literally. And now they're gonna everybody. have the rematch. Derek Lewis. See that, man. I uh, like it'll be interesting oh, oh, because oh. both fighters are like definitely I advanced. I do want to see that. Never mind. Yeah. I thought that was a different fight. My bad. Yeah, and then uh, like they've offered. Apparently, they've offered John Stipe, and John says that he doesn't want to fight Stipe anymore. I don't understand why. Because honestly, well, I feel like it would be an easier then? fight for John than Francis. Fuck well, I mean, yeah. it'll be easier fight now than it was when they initially were talking about it because Stipe. Lost. Uh, well, just more time overall yeah. in the ring. Another knockout. Like, there, you know, it's just like not. It's better for John now than it was before, just statistically. Like, yeah. it, it just. It, it's in his favor, honestly. But. Is he just wanting to go for Francis, you think? Is that what the deal is? <sighs> no, because they would have made that happen, dude. So what the fuck it, is he doing? behind the to move scenes, dude. Them? I think. I do think it's money, but I don't think it's as well known as, like. I don't think we're going to know as clear as, like, for example, like, you have a relationship with somebody. 
Like, I might have an idea that you and this person are in a relationship. I don't know the ins and outs. Yeah. I just know what I can fucking see. That's yeah. it. Like, say yeah, you true. and this hypothetical girl named fucking Compass, because that fucking box over there says Compass. Seems like y'all a are nice dating, lady. and y'all seem cool, but y'all fight at home. Yeah. I don't know y'all fight at home. Y'all are cool in front of me. Yeah. You know, maybe that's what John Jones and Dana White are going through. Like, maybe they're, I mean, they're not uh, publicly super cool, but like. Yeah, they've always kind of, you know. I don't know. Did you see it? He didn't fire, but he like parted ways with his management team. John? So, yeah. So now he's with, uh, what the fuck? I think it's like, it's not a golden boy guy, but it it's a guy from a uh, pay-per-view boxing conglomerate yeah. of some sort. I can't remember the uh, company, but he's pushed and r- risen like people in the boxing world to make crazy amounts of money. So it's I not think Eddie, is it? No, no, no. Uh, I don't know the guy's name. Like, I like when he said it and he announced it. I was like, "Oh, this is not a guy I personally know. Like, yeah. I, I haven't come across this guy before." But yeah, dude, it's wild. Uh, Yo, you. That's hear... a big step. He is basically our Muhammad Ali of UFC. So for him to walk away and choose a different management team, this is big. It's not being covered as much as it being big right now. But I think this will go down as one of his biggest like career moves. What, if, switching to a different... Yeah, because it's like, this dude might make him yeah, Connor rich. We don't know. We don't know the type of shit. Because if John continues to do what John does in the ring... Yeah. Why, like, how could this guy not? Like, I, you would assume this guy can only benefit John. Right. But go ahead. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just saying the... Uh, the Deontay Wilder-Tyson Fury trilogy fight... Honestly, not even stoked. I don't want to see that fight, dude. Dude, I mean, like, uh, are we going to watch? Yeah, yes, we're going to watch, watch. But it. what the fuck happened to the Anthony Joshua fight? Because I thought that th- that was both written, and they they were going to get paid in Abu Dhabi. It was going to be they held. supposed to be signed what already. I didn't know you could go backwards on a contract that was well, written. Exactly. That's what happened with the Deontay Tyson fight. In the clause, whenever they signed that contract. They had, like, so many days, though. I thought they didn't take it up on the days. No. I, no. From what I understand, you could make the trilogy fight. Deontay has the choice for the next fight to be the trilogy fight. Or Tyson's next fight to be the yeah, trilogy fight. Yeah, but you have a time frame of that. So, in, like, say like say we Within do a six contract. six months or something. Me yeah. and you, yeah. Uh, yeah, But I it's know. not even that much. It's, like, 90 days, I think. I hear you. So, they must have waited till the very last fucking day and was like, let's yeah. do it. So... And then who's his who's his coach gonna be? Because remember, he got rid of a lot of people. I think that dude, uh, fuck, Travis. No. And then Travis. I don't I don't know if you pay attention to Tyson that much either. He got a different coach. He let go of his too. The, the coach Jim, coach, coach? the uh, crunk Jim coach. I think his name's Ben. Because Ben coaches uh, Billy Joe Saunders, and they're still boys. Like, because Tyson was in Billy Joe Saunders' corner when he fought Canelo. Yeah, you're talking about... You know what I'm talking about? Like, he had slicked hair back like this. Yeah. And got, they sing together. Well, the last... Stuff. The last... His last fight, he didn't have him. He had the... He had the guy from fucking... Uh, I know who you're talking about. Fuck. What's I don't his know, damn I, name? I don't know his name, but I, I know because he was doing like... Uh, you know, UFC has embedded, but I can't think of what they're, they're called 24 hours or something Maybe for boxing, yeah, but it's where yeah. they do like the countdown show. Sugar Hill. Sugar, Sugar Hill. Hill yeah. Stewart, yeah. Yeah, I remember that now because yeah. he was like in a boxing gym in his Mexico, dad, I think. W- his dad was fucking, um, can't remember who he taught. They have Crunk Gym, which is known for like boxing mechanics, basically, I guess, yeah. like power punching, but also... Like, working on, like, straight-up boxing, fo- you know what I'm saying? Like Fundamentals and technique. Yeah, te- more technique kind of stuff. But uh, I guess his dad was also a really, really big trainer. And so he signed – I guess he's been working with him for a while. But he fucking it – showed, it showed in the last fight how well it was going, you know? To me, I think you either make or break on moves like that. Like – Oh, you mean Like, for example, wise? Cody. He just moved across – like, oh, literally – Ocean to ocean across the country. Yeah. And now he trains with Mark uh, Henry. Mm-hmm. And he was training with Uriah Faber and all them boys. Yeah. And 
I know sometimes they cross trains, but as far as I'm, as far as my knowledge is, his very last camp that this Rob Font fight, he was yeah. all Henry for this fight, mm-hmm. and I don't know, dude. There, there's a lot of people that are making moves that are like. I feel like you can see from a distance away that you're like, hmm, I don't think this is going to play out right. Yeah. This one I thought was going to play out perfect because Mark Henry is a like a Renowned. striking savant. Yeah. And Cody's, I mean, fucking great at striking. Yeah. So you would think that would have played up. And he has Frankie to fight or uh, to train with. Oh, yeah, yeah, So he yeah. has like a body type that is bigger yeah. and has got the skills. How much longer was Rob than... Cody, he had what f- almost four inches on him or something. Yeah, like that I thing? thought it was like four like or five. His, his fucking that's yeah, what but, got him. But I, also, I I feel like Cody added head movement on the very last round that he should have been adding throughout the yeah. whole fight. I mean, he had good movement, but it was like he let he too looked, much of it. Yeah, he. I mean, he. We never saw. I think after like the third round, whenever that jab started really coming in. You kind of saw him switch also, up. Also, some people were given like Cody like the first two rounds. I did not see that. I did not see that either. I saw like you could argue, and it would be an Second intense round? argue. No, the first round. Okay. That I oh, was yeah, like, you're right. you could really argue, and you could still lose that argument to yeah. say Rob won. Yeah. But I don't know. It, was, it, uh, it, it to me could have been a fifty forty five fight. Yeah. He won all five rounds. I thought, in my opinion, but you know everybody has their own difference. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you saw that. Uh, damn, why am I blanking on his name? Uh, Motown, Phenom, mm. uh, Kevin Lee. Kevin oh, okay. Lee, you know he fights at 155, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's now coming back at 170. Against a k- k- killer. Yeah. Not going to go well, dude. I really do not think so. I mean, Gregor Gillespie is like 155. He gave Kevin pretty much all he could handle. Yeah. I mean, he won that fight. Kevin won that right. fight, but but that was about it. Yeah. I mean, and that was the upper who echelon. Go- of who is he going? Who is he fighting at 170? I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, cause that that entire weight class <clears throat> right now, that 170 weight class, fucking killers, dude. Yeah, honestly, if, if if you're a if you're a guy right now and you're just now making it into the UFC and you're not quite his name's Sean Brady at UFC 264. Okay. Um, but if you're not like quite in the top 10 bro you're 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 probably gonna experience the best part of your career right now, because as soon as you reach out top ten, go fucking luck, dude. Good luck. I know. Talking, we're talking. Mm, a for sure, the top seven are probably all gonna be Hall of Famers. Yeah. I mean, for one hundred percent sure, yeah. the top five yeah, Hall yeah, of yeah, Famers yeah, yeah, for sure. But that extra that five well, to ten. Are just rotating to be the next the Hall next, of Famers. Yeah, the next top five. So it's like good luck, dude. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that weight class is stupid stacked right now. Yeah, and I also feel that way look, about lightweight too. Look, though. I love Connor and I love what he's done for the sport and all this. You're out of your fucking mind if you think you can take out Usman. That ain't a good look, my guy. Dude, like fucking tighten your belt and wear the right pants because it. You're trying to fit into pants that just don't fit, yeah, bro. There's it's just not, not gonna a work. fucking chance in the world. His game is so tailor made to tear Connor's game apart. Yeah, and that's because he suffocates you and doesn't give you space. Yep, and just tears now you if, down. Now, if Usman, like hypothetically in a world they fight, mm-hmm. if Usman plays that game like I'm gonna outstrike him from outside, yeah, you could get caught and you could get slapped. Could. Yeah, but he's could. not gonna do that. We're, we're, You've seen him against. We've seen him against Jorge twice. Yeah, and 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 the second fight, he definitely showed a little bit more, showed a little bit more. Uh, yeah, n- yeah, stand up fight. You know, like not closing down and shit like that. Like actually standing up and boxing with him, and still got his shit slept, dude. I mean, honestly, don't let Usman get confidence like this. Like some, like if, if if anybody in the division has a chance, it's Colby. But if anybody outside yeah. of that has a chance, 
somebody better have a close fight with him soon because if not and he gets striking happy yeah he's already got wrestling and he doesn't even have to really try it that yeah, he doesn't he's got that he on fucking to. lock yeah good luck yeah i that guy fuck i mean i really shit, i know dude. nobody likes colby but i really want to see that rematch that is the most enticing why isn't that happening again she's already back there yeah why why isn't that happening again why politics, bro. Politics. I honestly, you know what I feel like. Oh, fuck the politics. UFC doesn't like ring, Colby. Dude. I think. And I'm just taking a guess, but I don't think they like Colby. Obviously, people can get inside their own way inside of the UFC when you make it so big. You're like, I want more money, or you say no to certain fights or whatnot. Dude, these are the fights to make: Leon Edwards versus Colby. Make that fight, or Leon Edwards versus. Uh, Jorge, just for that fight yeah. to be a fight because there's a, a story behind it. Right. Colby versus Usman, mm. winner of both fight each other, obviously. But if Jorge wins, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. There's no need to see that shit. I don't know. Jorge wins. Colby wins. Mm. There's a fight. Yeah. But again, you I think, think we you know think who would win s- that? I yeah, I know who I'd I'm put my money Jorge on. I'm a big Jorge fan, but I know who I'd put my money on. Colby is Usman. They're the same fighter. Like, mm. it's the same exact game. It's just... But it's, Usman it's, has heavier hands. Yeah. But Colby sure. will just give you a thousand fucking... Yeah. What nobody does is quite as good as Colby does is he'll wrestle you to the cage, mm-hmm. wrestle you down, let you get up, wrestle you down, yeah. let you get it's up, just and then backs up, strikes, wrestles you down. Yeah. That, that It's constant Dude, fucking, good fucking luck. Yeah. It's like... That's like literally... You, I don't think people understand also, unless you've rolled with somebody or something like that, how much somebody weighs. Yeah, you people are just like, just get them like, off you, push them it's off. It's like, dude, okay. they're putting all of their weight on you first off and all of their muscle on you, yeah. right? So however much they weigh and then however much they can push down. And it's not even just that. They're efficient at it. They're not yeah. even wasting it. Yeah. They're just laying it on you. Yep. They so they're not using to. any energy, yeah. but you're the one who's like expending all your energy to do this shit. And people are like... Well, you know, fucking, why doesn't why didn't he just get out of the way? I said, I'd just stand dude, up. Dude, he's got a dump truck on him. What are you talking, like, yeah, it's not that fucking easy. That's why it blows my mind that, like, uh, have you seen the highlights of Derek Lewis just getting up? No. Watch these. Uh, hold on. Derek Lewis also is one of my favorite people. Derek Lewis. Oh, motherfucker. This remote shattered to shit. Derek Lewis just getting up. Somebody made a highlight of him. Just get up. Look at this. This is an insane highlight of him. He's going against fucking world-class black belts. And he does this one arm get up. Watch. He does it against like 50 fucking people. These are world level. And he's just like, I'm going to get the fuck up right now. Nobody can do that quite like he can watch. He's just like. Yeah, I'm not oh going to be down God, here. Dude. Somebody made a highlight Holy reel of shit. him just getting just the fuck getting up. up. If anybody's listening to this, just Google or uh, YouTube. Uh, Derek Lewis just what casually the stands fuck, up. Dude. Yeah, That's dude. That's insane. I can't remember the fight he was in, but one, he literally is fighting somebody and he puts his hand straight up like against them. This might be it. This might be it. Hold on. Yeah, what? he's just like, nah, dude. Fuck, I'm dude. just gonna get up. Just one arm pushes him off of him. Yeah, he's just like, cool, that's fine. Oh, this dude. That dude was a fucking legit I remember this fight too. Wow. He's just like, nah, dude, dude, that's not gonna work on me. That is insane. That's insane. That's a heavyweight boy. That's that's why you know that's why you know this next fight's about to be different. Yeah. But can Derek just avoid that hammer? I don't know, dude. That guy, I mean, I would like to see... I would like yeah. to see Derek win. But I also dude, yeah, am falling that, more be, and more in love with Francis, I feel like. I agree. But, yeah, Derek's got that, like... In a weird way, he's got that Nate Diaz vibe does, to him. Yeah. Where it's like, you like to like him. Yeah. Because he's got a vibe to him. Yeah. Because he, he's got it's a personality. Like a, yeah, it's not like a mean-ass thing. No. And I like that he's a personality he, from another place. He's like, also got a, like, a, like a hometown vibe to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, name he's another like, Texas person. Paul Wall. 
No, I mean like fighter. Like oh. Name another Texas fighter in the UFC. Can't think of any right off. Is fucking... Oh, never mind. Yeah. For a second, I thought it was Stipe, but I was like, I that's I was Cleveland. Like Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Cleveland, Cleveland. Till I die. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, uh... No, but that's the thing. He's like, he's kind of got that, like, hometown view. But, like, you'd... Like, you... He would be the guy from your hometown that everybody knows and everybody's like, fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody roots for him because he's... And what what really won me over was before he blew up on all this, like, being silly shit. The balls was hot. Before all that, yeah. Hurricane Sandy, I think, hit. Mm-hmm. Or what was the Texas one that hit real bad? Where, like, a lot of Texas was underwater? Uh, Irma? I think so. I can't remember which one it was. But he didn't post this. Other people posted him driving his big ass truck, picking up people oh, in yeah, the water. I did see that. I yeah. was like, "Damn, that's tight." And yeah. this was not when he was doing so hot. This was yeah. him like getting his pre, shit together, yeah, pre. and starting to really focus on like the way he eats and his technique yeah. and shit. In the heavyweight division, nobody's made quite the revolution to their own game like he has. Like. Francis has been he's good. Always, well, he's but always he's gotten been, better, right? But he's always been on top of his physique and stuff like that because he's a fucking six foot seven gigantic man who's cut out of stone, yeah. you know. But then when you see Derek, who started as kind of like a big, like a fucking normal heavyweight dude, butter bean looking people dude, out. just knocking you know? people out, and that was it. He didn't but, have to focus on nothing else. But now we're seeing him just now get we the start fuck to up. We see and... him like working on, work on other things. And also, like, you're talking about watching his diet and like taking care of his body because he realizes, like, this ain't the way. Yeah, you can do the whole knockout thing. Yeah. But that'll only get you so far. You know, you got to, you know, up your game in some other areas, too. So, you, you know, what's going to be really interesting is if the Francis that fought Stipe the, the second time mm-hmm. shows up. Mm-hmm. That, that, somebody made an edit that was like, he was like, the predator yeah you know where he can like see things before mm-hmm. they're happening and shit and bro it was like so spot on like because tyson dude couldn't get wrestled yeah fucking perfect striking controlled the fight at will yeah, i don't even he know had... if he got hit like i i can't even remember it's hard to remember <laughs> if he did yeah yeah i mean he he held that fight in his hand i mean that's the whole the whole thing. It was like he was Thanos with the Infinity Stone yeah, glove and everything, and he was just like, sure. "No, I got it." Yeah, yeah, he had all of it. This is wild. Yeah, that was a that. If you haven't watched that fight, I'm sure you can find it somewhere too. The second Stipe and uh, Francis fight. Watching Francis, if you watching the first fight and watching that fight, you're like, "Wow, what the fuck did this guy do?" You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of stuff did he go through to to get to where he's at? Yeah, I mean. And the, how long ago was that other fight? A year and a half? From the first Francis fight? Yeah. No, way longer than that. Because oh, really? he fought uh, oh, that's right. Cormier yeah, three yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. And then he fought Francis. Three times? Stipe. Yeah. I oh, mean, and fuck. Francis fought like four times. Because he knocked out like... I mean, lost to Derek. And then he knocked out uh, Curtis Blades. Rosenstruck. Rosenstruck. Dos Santos, Junior, Junior Dos Santos. Who fought? Uh, who not? Who uh, fucked up? Uh, Alistair. That was Francis, oh, okay. but that was that was pre. No, that, that was, was the fight before Stipe the first time. Okay. Damn, yeah, I man, there's crazy. like so many fucking fights out there. Honestly. Yeah. No, that's a. Uh, that'll be a good. That's gonna be a good a good fight. Yeah. For sure. But uh. We're going to wrap this one up and. Yeah. It's Get the been full pretty much this. up out of here. Yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. Sorry about all the dolphin shit, but, you know, got to figure out the man. Sometimes the man Google the isn't exactly as clear as you would want it to be. <laughs> and, like, you read something and you're like, well, that didn't even answer. You're not leaning me one way or the other. I knew more probably before I Googled this. <laughs> I'm just more confused now that I looked it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, dolphins have hair as their babies? What? Wait a minute. What? They're not Pull man up on- baby dolphin. They're not man animals? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. We're going to get the fuck out of here. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good week, bro. Hee hee.